How's it going guys? It's Toilet Bag here, back with another video. But before I start this video, can you guys like and subscribe? And also hit that bell if you want notifications when I drop a new video. So today I'm doing something different, and this is kind of like a series that I wanted to start where I interview people. And today I'll be interviewing somebody, actually one of my friends, who met Eric Cassell back then and had an actual conversation with him. So I wanted to ask him exactly what did he talk about, you know, how it was like, and things like that. Now if you don't know who Eric Cassell is, he is a big figure in Roblox back then, and he still is to this day. He actually passed away sadly due to cancer, and he was one of the co-founders of Roblox. So he is a big part of Roblox and why Roblox is what it is today. And like I said, unfortunately he has passed away so he is no longer with us, but he is very well remembered in the Roblox community. Also, I did want to apologize. I haven't been making videos that much lately. I've just been really, you know, busy with work and stuff, but I'm going to try and make more videos, you know, more often, and I'm sorry that I haven't posted in like four days, which, um, you know, I'll make sure not to do that again. I'll try and post every two days or at least every day. You know, that's my goal because I know you guys like watching my videos. But with that being said, let's get into this interview. Okay, guys, this is Pie, Pie Man Man. And you can introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Pie Man Man. I'm an old fart from 2008. And my friend here has some questions he wants to ask me. So, you said you met Eric Cassell. I wanted to say, like, what year did you meet him? And what did you say to him? Um, all those kind of things. Okay, well, I guess I met Eric in 2011, I believe. I want to say it was 2011. And it was actually in his own game, the uh, the Game of Life, which is a very basic rudimentary programming tool used in development. And amazingly, nobody had uh, joined us for this interaction. And, you know, Eric being such a community-driven man, wanted to uh, talk to his community. So, you know, of course, I said the standard things like, oh, it's really you. It's Eric Cassell. And, you know, he uh, he, was, he said hi and all that. And I asked what his game was, and he started explaining to me the nitty-gritty of the coding that went into it and how he managed to uh, implement it into the Roblox game engine. And, you know, I was 11, 12 at the time, so all of this just flew right over my head. I didn't understand a single word he, he said, but I, I was talking to this legendary figure. And, you know, he, he left, and I just kind of sat there and stared at what he had made. And, you know, it, it was just kind of a, a reflective moment of, did I really just talk to him? Was that really something that happened? But it, it seemed a bit too vivid to be like a fever dream or something, you know? Yeah, so basically you met him in one of his games and he tried to explain to you basically how he made the game and you being very young at the time, it wasn't really making sense to you, but you were still like, oh, it's cool. He's he's standing right in front of me. Yeah, no, it was it was a total, uh, it was, I, I totally fangirled super hard. Like, I, I probably made a, a, a fool of myself, to put it in layman's terms. We should, um, we should join his game. We should actually join his game. That'd be pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if Eric Castle's The Game of Life is working. We could still join it, why not? You want to check it out, possibly? Uh, I'm seeing if it's still So going. basically, this is the game where Pi Man Man joined him. But as you can see, the game seems to be very glitchy, and for some reason it's terrain, which they didn't add until... Um, I don't know when they added terrain, to be honest with you, but I know it wasn't back then. It wasn't a thing back then, and it looks like the game got reset. I don't even know what this is, but I don't. I can guarantee you this wasn't how it looked back then. Oh, there you are. You just fell out of the sky. So is this what it looked like? Um... This is not what it looks like. It looked like, but if you zoom out all the way, you notice how the lumps are kind of interacting, breaking apart. Yeah. From what I remember him explaining to me, and again, this is me reaching a decade into the past, 
the small clumps are actually dead cells and the big clumps are living cells. So when a living cell comes in contact with a dead cell, or when a living cell comes in contact with a living cell, one cell dies. When a living cell comes in contact with a dead cell, another live cell is born. And if two dead cells come in contact, they just kind of phase out. So that's why you have this never ending pattern. And the really cool thing is this is actually what he coded. This is what he made. But when I saw it in 2010, 2011, it was actually, uh, instead of green terrain, it was green blocks on a black base plate, if I remember. And it was super simplistic. Like, it was basically just this, this kind of scenario. Like, just me and him, like, explaining what's going on. I think maybe one of the administrators reset the game. Maybe the game got reset or they tried to keep it going with terrain. I'm not sure what happened. Why uh, it's terrain now? I, I'm guessing what happened was as it updated throughout the years, the game just, as, as it updated, you know, features changed and evolved and I think it just evolved into the terrain that we see here. Yeah, it looks like somebody joined us. We have a friend. <laughs> oh! He's actually wearing the, the outfit. He just doesn't have the hat. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Rest in peace to Eric. You know, it's pretty tragic, but he will be remembered. I guess that's the story of how I met Eric Cassell, you know, we had a nice conversation, and thank you for letting me come on here and tell everybody my story of how I met him. Yeah, it's awesome, and uh, thank you for telling me. Absolutely, anytime. If you, uh, if you need any more stories, you know where to find me. So yeah, basically guys, to sum it up, my friend here basically met Eric Cassell in one of his own games. Eric Cassell basically explained how the game worked, and him being very young at the time, he didn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was also very happy that he met him. I personally have never met him back then. You know, it would have been really cool too, but you know, I was very young at the time as well. And if you guys enjoy this like little interview series that I wanted to start, let me know. I wanted to interview like some of the richest traders on Roblox. I wanted to interview, you know, some of the oldest players and try and interview some, you know, really cool players. I feel like it'd be very interesting to like hear what people have to say, you know, to hear from a 2006 player and ask about how old Roblox used to be. Although I did play back then, you know, 2006 is like from the very beginning, so it would be very cool to find somebody who legitimately joined in 2006 and, you know, ask them about the game. So that is my plans for, you know, this little interview series, but um, if you guys enjoyed this, it was a little different. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, let me know in the comments and tell me what you guys think. I'll leave a link in the description to, you know, a little bit of a description about Eric Cassell if you guys wanted to learn a, a little bit more about him. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video.